Hello everyone, this is Rami Al Qurayshi. In this video, I will be talking about networking, how to start learn networking. If you are a student or if you are new to the IT path networking and you are wondering how to start learn networking, then this video is for you. The first thing we need to know, there are two kind two kinds of software we can run. Simulators and emulators. What is good example for simulator? Packet tracer, Cisco packet tracer. This like this this software has been there for some time. And on packet tracer, basically you can get started like to know the switch, the interfaces, the cable types. However, there are a lot of limitations because this is a simulator they are trying to simulate the software on the other hand we have emulators uh, we have more than one option we have gns3 uh, we have uh, evng and here right now i am mentioning the three options uh, evng what i will be showing you in this video i am using the community which is the free uh, the free uh, version for it and of course they have the eve pro there is also the eve i believe enterprise which which these are the paid so we know now there is simulator and there is emulator for the simulator there is packet tracer this is not a good place for you to start learning because you will face a lot of limitations the best option for you to learn you need to have eve ng which is the emulator this is what i will be talking about in this video to have eve ng installed you need to to have kind of hypervisor kind of virtualization environment and there are more than one virtualization environment of course there is the vmware of course they are uh, one of the best however they are expensive the option i love and i like and i recommend to everyone that start using which is proxmox this is a free uh, a free like uh, if you are want to test even if you want to have very good advanced setup however uh, of course you can go to the paid one if you want to have like uh, support from Proxmox uh, or if you have some uh, more fancy feature that you want to use however you can start with the uh, free uh, Proxmox the same as I am doing here so the first thing the first step you need to do you need to download and install a Proxmox where do you install Proxmox for example what I am doing here I am installing Proxmox on an old uh, gaming PC I, I bought around uh, 2016 and I uh, took the GPU out of this gaming PC I put extra hard drives and now I am using I am using this as a hypervisor if you are a student there are a lot of cheap options for example you can buy a normal like uh, a cheap laptop used laptop on facebook or on uh, uh, other like uh, markets for example ebay and you just make sure that the motherboard can have uh, like high memory for example it can reach till 32 uh, gigabytes or for example you can search for like uh, use the workstations on facebook market or on ebay uh, it depends on where you are located for example if you are located in canada also there is another platform called kgg you can find there like cheap and used uh, parts so for example i am here installing this uh, proxmox uh, uh, on uh, a gaming computer why i am talking about proxmox and i am spending some time here because this will not even get you good in networking this 
will get you good in IT in general. Why is that? So for example here, I have Eve and G, I will show you that. But here, you can create VMs. For example, I can create like a VM Ubuntu. Next, I here choose where to store it. For example, see how many images I can create. Like I can create Windows 7. I can create Windows Server 2012. This is the Eve, this is the Pro one. I can create here Kali Linux if I am testing some security stuff here. I have Ubuntu, the old uh, 20, 22, uh, 23, 24. I have Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows Server. I have Zabbix. Zabbix here like is uh, a monitoring uh, application if you are familiar with PRTG. Even if not, stay tuned. I will be putting some videos on this later. So, for example, let's uh, clone uh, the latest and the greatest uh, Ubuntu. Next, next. Here I specify which uh, storage. I, as you can see, I have two. And here let's put the text. Uh, sorry, the disk size 20. Next here, how many CPU? One CPU, I will give this. Uh, let's stay with the 2 gig of uh, RAM the same network here we click finish as you can see right now it's in the process of creating this VM it will not take that long and as you can see right now this VM is created so if I can right now start and click on the console basically I will be right now installing oh, Ubuntu. If you now just follow the instructions, we will have in like less than around 10 minutes, we will have Ubuntu deployed. And it, this depends actually on your like uh, the hypervisor uh, uh, parts for example the cpu the ram uh, also it depend on the, your network speed your internet speed because basically uh, this as as you will be seeing later this will be downloading some packages from the internet and uh, and right now this is a normal uh, ubuntu installation i will close this come back here and for example this is a vm i can clone a container the container is the light uh, version for it like uh, you can spin it just with the link of an ai an i and uh, here i can specify even half gig of ram with less with less uh, disk size and basically I can have my container running uh, and do some testing as you can see Proxmox is very beautiful and very easy to use so right now you have this platform and if you are wondering how to install uh, Proxmox where to download that uh, I have a video I will put the uh, the link in the description uh, for this video as well so basically here let's say we downloaded uh, eve let me close this uh, machine i do not need it anymore so let's see here we downloaded eve of course during the setup we uh, we know the ip address then here i have my eve ng installed so here once i log in for example, I can come here and create a new lab. Let's call this a test, test one, test lab. And here, let me show you, for example, you want to practice networking. Then there, there are these images, the Cisco IOL. Here you call this switch one, switch. Let's say you want to practice on four switches. You here add four. Uh, here each one of those four switches will have two ethernet port group each one of those will have four 
meaning we will end up with each switch uh, having eight ports then here i will specify the image which is there too then i will just change here the icon from router to uh, a switch then here i start as you can see right now i have my four switches uh, let's do some connection between them see here let's say you have a lab you want to practice something or you just want to practice networking this is also like uh, I, ha I will have another video talking about vlans so you want to practice network reachability or you want to see like uh, is there any connectivity between your vlans between your switches whatever so see this beautiful option i come here to windows i have windows couple of windows servers like uh, 2019 12 8 but see for windows i have couple options xp 8 7 10 let's choose two so and here i have my windows connected let's now power on everything So everything now is power. Let's log in, for example, to switch for this is putty. Uh, putty is a terminal uh, that we use to interact and play with our network devices. So this is my switch. And as you can see now, I have a switch. For example, here I can name it hostname switch for. I can check the image, which iOS version it's running. Uh, then here for example this is for the window as you can see here I have window you log in I have a couple of tools here uh, like for example if you want to test uh, FTP for FileZilla uh, a lot of options here you can change your IP address to test network connectivity as you can see your best learning option if you are a student or you are just starting it will be to first have an old hardware this might be old workstation old PC old gaming PC or a laptop or find something in the uh, in the market cheap and used you do not need to spend money to buy a fancy gaming computer with two a GPU 4090 you need a cheap product that can ha for example has a i7 CPU processor with uh, 8 cores it will be enough for your learning journey and uh, have at least to run this in a smooth way you need to have at least 32 gig of RAM even if you have 8 gigabit of RAM, it will run. However, uh, you will face some limitation. Your best option here will be having 32 gig of RAM. Then you start testing. So the first step will buy a product, a hardware. We wipe that uh, hardware. We delete everything. We only install uh, Proxmox. I have a video will uh, will put the link in the description on how to install proxmox once we install proxmox we put evng inside proxmox also i have a video i will put that link in the uh, description then you start here to practice with eve like uh, you start for example the first learning journey uh, it will be to play with the switch, to play with the VLANs, to practice the MAC address table, uh, to connect a PC, see, see when I have a MAC address, when the MAC address table will be empty, what is the dynamic static MAC. This is how you start. This will be your best way as a student or 
if you are just starting your IT path, it will be your best way to start learning networking. Thank you for watching.